So, so do, you, do you expect me to go to bed without having anything in my tummy? Baby, listen, you know you don't usually come home and you go for these meetings, so I figured that you might not come home. Well, what, what sort of excuse is that? You usually go for these meetings every night and I... I, I... You weren't sure I was going to come back, so, 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 oh, so, so you, 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 I have to tell you when I, I'm coming back before you make food for me? I'm sorry. Okay, just give me a few minutes. Let me quickly make something. A few minutes? So now, in my own house, I can't eat the time I want to eat. I have to wait for when you want to give me food, right? I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. You keep your food. I'm going outside. Ba babe! <laughs> So tell me, how does the food taste? Oh, baby, it tastes so fabulous. So why do you have to wait for me to ask before you say so? Uh, uh, you can see that I'm eating now. I was going to tell you after eating. You can see I'm enjoying your meal. Hmm? You know, I always ask myself, how is it that my sweetheart cooks so well? <laughs> <laughs> See what you're eating as if your life depends on this oh, food. Oh, please, 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 just allow me, okay? Don't throw shit at me. Okay. Allow me to enjoy my princess's meal. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so tell me, mm. does her food taste as good as mine? Who? You know who I'm talking about? The mother of your children. Well, she's a good cook in her own right. But of course, she doesn't cook as good as you do. As a matter <laughs> of fact, you're the best chef there is in this world. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, <laughs> um, that reminds me, um, mm. David wants me back. What do you mean David wants you back? Who is David? My ex. Are you kidding me or what? I am not. In fact, he's very serious about it. He said he wants to marry me and asked for my hand in marriage. <clears throat> so, what did you tell him? Well, I haven't really told him anything because I am still confused. What do you mean you haven't told him anything that you're still confused? You should have just told him straight up that you are no longer available. Am I? Of course you are. Then go ahead and divorce and let me come in. What is it, Ben? Trust me. See, I don't want to start seeing David as an option, but you're somehow pushing me to. Look, David is not an option. And I've already told you before that I am going to divorce her. Then do it and stop wasting my time. My love, I promise you, I will divorce her. But I have to do things calmly and quietly. Hmm? My baby. Hmm? What is it? 
When are you divorcing her? Divorcing who? Your wife, of course. Is that not the promise you made to me? You promised to divorce her if I accept to marry you. Now it's three months down the line and you're not even saying anything about that. Look, sweetie, you're right. I know. I promised. But I need you to give me some time. I promise that I'm going to divorce her and have not changed my mind. I'm seriously working on it. Ben, this is taking forever, like forever. Take a good look at me, Ben. Take a good look at me. I am not getting any younger. And by the way, I don't even understand what you mean by you're working on it. I don't. But I have told you. Ben, since you have made up your mind to divorce her, why don't you just go ahead and, and let's have a wedding? But sweetie, I have told you severally that when you're ready to get married, I'm ready. Do you want us to wed now? Okay, let's go ahead and wed. No, Ben, no. I don't want it that way. You have to divorce her first and then marry me. Because if you marry me now, I, I'll be regarded as a second wife. And the trauma that you know is not ready to play second fiddle to anybody. Hell no! But sweetie, that is why you have to give me some time. Please. I beg of you. I would divorce her, okay? And I, look, I am a man of my word. I give you my word. Ben. How much time do you need? Honey, just like I said, all I need is a little time. Please. And I believe myself to be a man of my word, which means that I never go back on my promises. Look, sweetie, this divorce thing is a foregone conclusion already. I'm just waiting to sort out the little stuff and then I'll serve her the divorce papers. Hey, as a matter of fact, as I'm talking to you now, I have already discussed it with my lawyers. So you shouldn't be troubling yourself. You have nothing to worry about. Jim, hmm? baby, I can't just wait to have you all to myself. I, uh... You know, I want that man that, that will always come home to meet me every night. And sweetie, that is why you need to be patient for the love that we share. And I promise you, but very soon, all your wishes will be granted. Hmm? Come here. By the way, hmm. I'll be spending the night with you. Tonight? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. I knew you would like that. You know, I can't just wait to rock your world. Oh, you can't wait. Mm. Tonight? I can't wait for you to rock my I love my you, words. baby. I love you too, baby. Your dad is not picking up, okay? Maybe you, you two should go to bed. You know you're going to sleep tomorrow. Don't worry, they love to say before going to bed. You know what? You need to go to bed. Tomorrow is school and you need to sleep early. You'll see him tomorrow, okay? Problem. Aren't you supposed to be home at this time? Look, um... Listen, the kids are eager to see you. I have to literally... They won't go to bed without talking to you. I'm at the office and I'm not sure I'm coming back tonight. Finn, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really busy right here. What? I'm in a meeting. You're in a meeting and I'm just finding out about it. Alright, bye.
What does she want? Oh, so you're awake? Oh, it's nothing really. She merely was checking up on me. Yeah. It's like the kids wanting to see their father. Oh, she wants to see her husband. Oh, honey, please, I beg you. Let's not do this again, okay? Let's not, not, not tonight. Look, I'm here for you. See, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. We, see, we have to stop this hide and seek game. I'm tired. Divorce and let's make all this thing open. Honey, I have told you several. I will do that. I promise you I will divorce her. You have nothing to worry about. Why are you troubling yourself, my baby? Hey, my sweetheart. <laughs> but you get that for you last time and you're not picking up school. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. But daddy was working throughout the night at the office. That reminds me, you two are supposed to go for lessons. You don't want to be late, right? Yes. Oh, good. So I'll see you later. I give daddy a big hug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Daddy loves you, huh? Take care, darling. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to the office. But you just came back. Don't you think you should rest? No, I'm fine. Uh, I actually have some business appointments to keep. I can't afford to have it cancelled. Why didn't you come back last time? Uh, what did I tell you on the phone when you called? That you went for a business meeting, but did you really expect me to believe that? Oh, really? <laughs> well, I won't be coming back home tonight because I still have another business meeting to attend. So you can choose to believe whatever it is you like. By the way, make sure that the kids don't stay up late. Have a great day. What did you say, Ben? You heard me right. I want to divorce Rhoda. Like I want out of this marriage. <laughs> you can't be serious, are you? I am dead serious, believe me. I have made up my mind and nothing can change my mind now. Why would you want to do a thing like this? I know your wife. She's a very nice woman. Look, this has nothing to do with whether she's a nice woman or not. Then what is this about? Love. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean love, Ben? I don't love her anymore. I have fallen out of love with her. I can't stand being in the same house with her anymore. My feelings for her is dead. And I just feel it's not right for me to continue to endure the absence of love endure in my marriage. Endure what, Ben? Endure what? Ruda is someone I know very well. And I even know her way back before you met her. She's someone that would never want to hurt a fly. What has gone wrong? What did she do? She did not do anything. Don't you get it? She didn't do anything wrong to me. I just... I'm falling out of love with her. Like, I, I see her like a total stranger in my house. My love, my feelings, my regard, my respect, my tolerance, my affection for her, they are all dead. Come on, Ben. What has she done? I have just told you she hasn't done anything. Yes, I know she's a nice woman. And that is why I have made up my mind that I would compensate her big time. Jesus Christ. Ben. I, I, I actually the one talking like this. Oh, yes, it's me talking like this. The reason why you're saying this is because you're not the one who is in my shoes. Come on, Ben. <sighs> If you don't love your wife anymore, don't you love your kids? Answer me. 
Of course, I love my kids. I do. Have you thought of what will become of them if you take this decision? You're not a poor daughter of a broken home, babe. Your father stayed with your mother until he died. So where is all this trigger coming from? Wait, I'm not done talking, babe. Listen to me. To me, love is 40% feelings and 60% decision. There comes a time in our marriage when our feelings for our spouse gone down to zero level. But the decision to love them during that period is what makes the difference. Think about this, please. Princess, I was wondering if you want to come again. Oh, sorry, traffic was terrible. I know, I know, this is Nigeria, there's always traffic. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Chip. Good afternoon, Jim. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? Won't you give me a hug? <laughs> come here. Ben, I need to leave now. Oh, yeah. I'll see you later. Sit down. You're leaving already? Yeah. Okay, hey, don't forget, they're hanging out there today. No problem. What's wrong with him, your friend? He doesn't look like Forget him. So, have you had lunch? Oh, no. You know, I'm famished. Really? All right, we will hit the road because my princess should never, ever be hungry. <laughs> he hasn't slept in this house for two days now. So what reason did he give you this time? He's been going for meetings and meetings. But we wouldn't know that's a lie. Because I know he's been spending time with that woman. You mean his former secretary? So have you asked him about it? To what end? You should. You should confront him. <sighs> you know, if I confront him, it will only lead to two things. Denial or an argument that might lead to a fight. And I don't want that. I would rather just spend my time making peace with my creator than worrying about who my husband spends his time with. I understand. But, see, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. But I also suggest that while you're trying to find peace with God, you should also pray for him. Because the Bible makes us to believe that the heart of a king is in God's hands. I'm praying for him. But have you told him yet? <laughs> he hardly has time for me. He hardly looks at me. I mean, what's the point? What's the point? So, so do, you, do you expect me to go to bed without having anything in my tummy? Baby, listen, you know you don't usually come home and you go for these meetings, so I figured that you might not come home. Well, what, what sort of excuse is that? You usually go for these meetings every night and I... I, I... You weren't sure I was going to come back, so, 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 oh, so, so you, 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 I have to tell you when I, I'm coming back before you make food for me? I'm sorry. Okay, just give me a few minutes. Let me quickly make something. A few minutes? So now, in my own house, I can't eat the time I want to eat. I have to wait for when you want to give me food, right? I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. You keep your food. I'm going outside to do that. Ba babe! <laughs>
Mm. So tell me, how does the food taste? Oh, baby, it tastes so fabulous. So why do you have to wait for me to ask before you say so? Uh, uh, you can see that I'm eating now. I was going to tell you after eating. You can see I'm enjoying your meal. Hmm? You know, I always ask myself, how is it that my sweetheart cooks so well? <laughs> <laughs> you see what you're eating as if your life depends on this food. Oh, please, 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 just allow me, okay? Don't throw shades at me. Okay. Allow me to enjoy my princess's meal. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so tell me, does her food taste as good as mine? Who? You know who I'm talking about? The mother of your children. Well, she's a good cook in her own right. But of course, she doesn't cook as good as you do. As a matter <laughs> of fact, you're the best chef there is in this world. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, darling. <laughs> mm. Um, that reminds me. Um, mm. David wants me back. What do you mean David wants you back? Who is David? My ex. Are you kidding me or what? I am not. In fact, he's very serious about it. He said he wants to marry me and asked for my hand in marriage. So, what did you tell him? Well, I haven't really told him anything because I am still confused. What do you mean you haven't told him anything that you're still confused? You should have just told him straight up that you are no longer available. Am I? Of course you are. Then go ahead and divorce and let me come in. What is it, Ben? Trust me. See, I don't want to start seeing David as an option, but you're somehow pushing me to. Look, David is not an option. And I've already told you before that I am going to divorce her. Then do it and stop wasting my time. My love, I promise you, I will divorce her. But I have to do things calmly and quietly. Hmm? My baby. Hmm? You said you were feeling dizzy last night. Yes. So how do you feel now? I still feel dizzy. Do you think you should just come with me to the hospital right away? I don't think that is necessary, truthfully. <laughs> of course it's necessary. I mean, I understand how you feel, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be hopeful. <sighs> By the way, have you told him yet? <laughs> Someone who hasn't even noticed that I stopped working. Mm -hmm. I mean, he doesn't even care. Wow, that's too bad. So what about the kids? Have they noticed how he treats you? They're still children. And truthfully, I don't want them to notice. Wow, well, it's all good. It's okay. It is well. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> You look worried. I'm fine. Okay. Your dinner is served. I'm not hungry. Okay. Wait. Look, um, brother, there's something very important that I've been meaning to tell you. I can hear you. Well, I... I want a divorce.
Why? Look, I am willing to give you a portion of my assets. As a matter of fact, I am going to make sure you have enough money so it can make your life more bearable. You still haven't answered my question. I said, why? Well, I just, I don't love you anymore. And I'm not happy in this marriage. And it would be better for us right now to separate and go our separate paths without, without waiting until a misunderstanding rips us apart. Look, brother, I'd appreciate if we can keep this quiet without raising any dust. Your dinner is served. I stopped at the gas station to get gas, and then I saw an old friend of mine. You know her now, Betsy. We just um, did a little bit of catch up and stuff. She said I should say hi. Very well then. I want to find out um, what your take is on what I told you last night. What did you tell me last night? I told you that I want a divorce. What's the meaning of this? Did she just walk out on me? All right. When I get back, I'll readdress this. You know, I'm in a very happy mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like clubbing tonight, so girls. <laughs> but I know wow. you. I know there's something, something uh -huh. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Jelly happy mood. Tell your girls now. Um, yeah. Seriously, I can't wait to hear this gist. You girls should guess. I'm not gonna die. Please, I can't. Okay. You know. Your girl here is um getting married. So wow, <laughs> really, girl? Wow. I'm not before you. I know he's a lucky man. Mm. That's the question. Well, his name is um Mr. Ben Okoye, the CEO of Benny Globals. That's your former boss. So? Um, isn't that you married if? <laughs> Are you supposed to be the second wife? Hell no! Not at all. Okay. You know, he's divorcing his wife soon. Wow. And that's called for celebration. Oh, James is why bearing children. <laughs> uh, she has a set of things, a boy and a girl. You know, just forget that. Then why is he divorcing his wife? It's crazy how guys feel it's cool to just jump from one woman to another. <laughs> I don't know. Amara. What is your problem? For the fact that the woman has children for him, she doesn't stop him from divorcing her if they're having issues. Well, if you ask me, mm -hmm. children shouldn't be a ticket to remain in an unhappy marriage. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, the poor man has realized that he made a mistake at first oh, yeah. in marrying her. So he's ready to divorce her. 
Huh? Isn't that a worthy thing to do? Oh, I don't see anything wrong. Ah, come on. And you are the perfect soulmate. Right? Whatever, girl. Just be careful. So, I guess there was so much um, traffic. Yeah. Where are the kids, by the way? They've gone to bed. They waited up for you, but you weren't forthcoming. All right, listen, Rhoda. I'm going to give you the divorce papers to sign very soon. And I would give you enough money for you to take good care of yourself. But the kids, they'll stay with me. Trust me, the door would always be open for you to come and see them whenever you want. Um, your food is on the dining. I think you should eat. You're walking out on me again. Huh? You're walking out on me. Are you alright? Are you sure you're okay? I am talking about divorcing you and you're telling me to come and eat food? It's okay. Wait. Something must be wrong with you. It's your And please eat breakfast. Everything that we've been through. He insists he wants a divorce. Tell me, where did I go wrong? He doesn't even eat my food anymore. Belly stays at home. He's always angry. I'm just so tired. Brother, please, just take it easy, okay? Please. I mean, I understand all you're going through, but you have to take it easy. You have to be strong for yourself and for the kids. Be strong? Yes. I have lost every will, every reason. Stop saying that. There's Everything will be fine. There's nothing more to live for. There is. Just be hopeful. Everything will be fine. I already said I don't want to go. Why? I don't like what Choma is doing. What is she doing? Why is Choma dating a married man? I mean, it's painful enough that, she's, that this man is cheating on the wife and now she wants him to divorce her and marry her. That's evil. Why is it paining you? Like, is the, are you the woman's sister? It's paining me because I'm human with a conscience. You girls should remember there's something called the law of karma. Like, seriously? I can't even believe it. Did Choma use charm on the man? No, she didn't. The man is only expressing his love for her. And it's love that brought them together. So, I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, please. Cut the cynicism. Okay. Whether love or no love, Choma should have resisted the man. Of young and unmarried men out there, why is somebody's husband? Are you now saying that love is evil? Oh, please! Whether love or no love, someone should have resisted the man. Why am I even talking to you? Please, you guys should just do whatever. Amara! Please! Amara, where are you going to? Come here, come to Daniel. <laughs> come here. Mm. Yeah, good day sitting out here. Mm. And you, Daniel, how are you? Fine. Dad, the mommy is sick and we went to the hospital and the doctor gave us some drugs. The hospital? Yes. Ah, really? Mm. I just think. 
wish you the great I am that I am the Isaac God of Isaac and Jacob, the financier of everything. May your name be praised and glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you for everything you've done. May your name be praised and glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Are you done? Good morning, babe. Good morning. Well, I have spoken to my lawyers concerning the divorce. The divorce papers are ready. So what do you have to say? What would you like to eat for breakfast? I'm talking about something very serious here and you're talking about breakfast. What is wrong with you? Okay, so I'll just quickly scramble something for you. I'll be right back. Look, Rhoda, you're pushing your lock here. You're pushing it. I'm trying to end this thing quietly and patiently, but it seems you want it the other way, right? No problem. You'll get it that way you want. Watch me. I think I should throw her out of my house. No, 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 no. My children won't like it that way. Besides, I don't want any acrimony or dirty fight or tussle in a law court. I just want a quiet divorce. If only Chioma would agree to marry me now, I would simply forget Rhoda and move on with Chioma. But the thing is, Chioma wouldn't marry me until I divorce Rhoda. So how do I go about this matter now? How? Hello, my princess. Oh, no, what's wrong? You, you sounded very nervous on the phone. I just got back from the hospital. Hospital? Are you okay? Are you alright? Ben, I am pregnant. You're pregnant? Uh, is it for me? Yes, of course. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ben, just stop it. Drop me. So that's good news. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt the baby. I'm sorry, honey. Honey, this is good news. Why are you not rejoicing? That's because I don't want to give birth outside wedlock. Ben, you just have to hasten up and marry me. Hasten up! It's alright. I've heard you. And I promise you that I'll do something about it as soon as possible. Okay? Honey, this is good news for us. Smile. Put on that sweet smile on your face. We are having a baby. Baby, baby, baby. Smile on me. Oh, come here, my love. Ooh, we are having a baby. Baby, baby, baby. I just have to hasten oh, up. I'm tired. Yeah. No problem, just sit down and be massage you. Ooh, my baby. <laughs> Listen, Rhoda. We need to talk. Talk about what? About something very important. I'm listening. Listen. My lawyers are going to be here any time this week to serve you the papers. Now, please, I want you to sign them quietly. I don't want us to fight about it. I promise you I will give you your due. I'm going to give you the sum of 50 million naira to walk away with. I'll also give you whatever it is that you want. I promise you I will make sure that you are okay. I will get a marriage counsellor. He'll be here tomorrow to talk to us. Excuse me. Yes, yes, who is it? Yes, sir. Oga, this man say he won't see you. Oh, okay. Good afternoon. 
afternoon. Sorry, who are you looking for? I'm here to see Mrs. Rhoda. I'm guessing you must be the husband. Or well, kind of. So, sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm a marriage counselor. She invited me over to have a word with the two of you. Basically, I'm here to counsel you. You're here to counsel me? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I see. Well, you may as well just turn back and walk away from here. Because I'm in no mood to have a talk show with you. What? Oh, you heard me right. And you leave my house and make sure you don't come back here next time. No, calm down. Take Nonsense. No, what? Sir? Let this be the last time you invite a marriage counselor into this house. And for your information, first thing tomorrow morning, you'll be served a divorce paper so we could end this whole charade. Stop this. Stop using that word darling on me. It irritates me. It's annoying. As a matter of fact, it disgusts me. Please don't ever use that again. The lawyer sent the divorce papers. I'm going to sign them. really good news. I don't want anything from you. I don't want your money. You can keep the 50 million naira. I don't want your car gift. You can also keep that. And I don't want to have to argue about custody of the kids. They can stay with you. That's great news, the best news I've heard. But there is a condition. Uh, so so um, what, what do you want? I want us to pretend to be a family for two weeks. I need you to pretend to be a lover of God. I need you to pretend to love your wife. I mean, it's going to be the last two weeks of our lives as a couple. I mean, why don't we spend it together and pretend like we're happy? Is, is that all you want? Yeah. Okay. Fine then. Uh, we can consider them granted. Thank you very much for this. Whew. Okay. <laughs> you don't mean it. When? Oh, 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 tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she's here with me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let her know. I'll let her know. All right, bye. <laughs> what did she ask you to tell me? Well, she wants us to accompany her to the boutique. And I think Amanda has given her enough money to throw around. And you know what that means. She's going to buy one or two things for us. Count me out. I'm not going anywhere with that gold ego. Why would you call her that? Do you have a better name for a husband snatcher and a homebreaker? I don't know. I keep telling you that Choma is not doing anything wrong. What kind of a woman is comfortable with destroying a fellow woman's home? Choma is evil. I don't want to do anything with that girl, please. See, she calls again. I keep telling you that Choma is not doing anything wrong. Better send feathers. 
Ben found a good woman in Choma. That's why he wants to divorce the wife and get married to her. Yes. Keep encouraging her nonsense. <sighs> why do I keep having this impression that you're being jealous of that girl? Oh, oh yes. Me. Jealous of a low life bone digging wannabe. <laughs> girl, please. See, you don't need to call her all those names. You don't need it. Low life, scum, dirty girl, gutter, husband snatcher. Can you just stop it? You want me to go on? <sighs> when are we going on? So you want to go? Sorry. 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 Come, 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 we're running late. We need to quickly order for a taxi. We're running Why? really late. Choma, you need to get your own car. Like, for crying out loud, you're a big girl. Why are you dating a big shot? Like, tell him to get you a car. I haven't really thought about it before now. I think I have to talk to Ben about this. And I'm sure he will listen to me. And he's a very caring guy. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, he is more than caring. Ha. Do you know sometimes I envy you? You are a very lucky girl. That will be talk for another day. But let's go. <laughs> We're running late. Listen, Chooks. I am the happiest man in the whole world right now. <laughs> I can see that written on the value. So tell me, do you mean a jackpot or what? Oh, come on, Chooks. Does everything have to be about money? A man's happiness doesn't always have to depend on money. Okay, what is it then? The thing is, Rhoda has agreed to a divorce on a mutual ground, which means no one is taking each other to the court. And you know, the sweetest part of it all is that she has agreed for me to have custody of the children. Of course, she can always come and see them whenever she likes. Really? Yeah. Is that why you're happy? Why don't you look on your face? Take care. Hello, Chooks. Hello. Hello, Dali. How are you? <laughs> did you just say you're queen? Yes. When did you change that? Well, you have been. Wait, wait, I thought I am your princess. <laughs> well, the thing is this you have been promoted to queenship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. oh. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. As you can see. And, and you, baby, how are you doing? My baby is kicking. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, baby. Mm -hmm. What is it? Baby, I think I need a car. You know, because of my present condition, oh, honey, I just... you don't have to explain to me the reason why you need a car. All you have to do is ask, and I'll grant it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything Thank you for very you, baby. Much, Nelly. I'm so happy. Oh, come Thank on, you, I'll do anything for my darling. <laughs> Girls, I want you to check out my new car. Come check it out. This? Yeah, this, of course. Are you serious? Ah! This is machine. Yeah! Machine. That's my new ride. <laughs> this is machine. That's my new ride, girl. So beautiful. My new ride, girl. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> It's so nice. <laughs> 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 um, Amara, why are you standing here? 
come check out my ride. Ben got you this car. Of course! I mean, who else would have gotten such a beautiful car like this for me, if not Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Show me. Show me. Uh, what is it? Let me ask you a very important question. Uh, doesn't your conscience prick you? Even if you just this much. Don't you feel bad that you're destroying your fellow man's home? Shoma, there are so many single guys out there. Leave Mr. Ben and his family alone. Amara, hold it right there. What is wrong with you? Are you stupid? Have you gone mad? I'm not mad. I'm just doing the job of a good friend and telling you the bitter truth. Shoma, go and get your own man and leave another woman's man alone. Be the good girl I know. I stop being this, this low life gold digger. Are you mad? You're stupid! Uh, uh, How dare see, you! Girls, are you that crazy? I, 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 are you, I, come, I, please, please, you, please! Please, oh, oh, please! Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, oh, Madam, I learned that you want to see me. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Amara, and I'm here to invest something to you about your husband. My husband? Yes. Okay. Um, I know this is none of my business. It's not my concern. But this thing has been giving me sleep this night. I need to say it to you. Okay. You haven't said anything. What's all this? Talk to me, why do you have all these bruises on your face? It's okay, baby, I'm fine. Oh no, you're not fine. Why are there bruises on your face? And don't tell me not to worry. Okay. Fine. Well, I was in a fight. You were in a fight? Why? With who? Tamara. Amara? Who is Amara? Amara, my friend. And um, Nancy's flatmate. You mean she, she, she did this to you? Is she crazy or something? Alright, there's no problem. I'm going to make sure she gets arrested for this. Oh, baby, no, no, no. There'll be no need for that. I mean, you need to see what I did to her face as well. So... So, uh... What was the fight all about? Ma, your husband is having an affair with some trauma girl. Shoma, you mean his former secretary? That's her. I know. You know? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm aware. I mean, what can we do? Men will always be men, right? Do you also know that she's pregnant and your husband just got her a car? She's pregnant? Well... Men will always be men. That's what you have to say. That is all I have to say. What do you want me to say? Mom, this same girl is trying hard, I mean really hard to send you out of your house so she can come in as the wife. Do I you know, know that? I know. You know too. Yes, I do. <clears throat> uh, Amara, thank you so much for the information. I really appreciate you looking out for me in my marriage. I appreciate it. Thank you. But I know already, so it's fine. You are fine. I'm fine. You are not bothered. No. You are sure? Yes. Okay. Have a nice day. Davy, are you going out? Yes, I'm going out. Where are you going? I have to see Chooks. Oh, Chooks. And baby, why don't we all go together? 
I mean, it's belong you, you and I and the kids went out. You know, spend some time together. Maybe eat out and stuff like that. Maybe yeah. next time. But today I have to go alone. Baby, alone. baby, you can't go alone. I mean, we just have a few days left. Let's just spend it together for the kids. Please, the kids need it. Okay, okay. okay. Fine. Thank you. I'll go get the kids ready and I'll be back. Two hours he said he was coming. Yet he's not still here. And now his phone is switched off. God, who on earth could he be? God, please bring him back here. I just want to thank you for bringing us all out here. <laughs> you didn't ask me why I stopped working. I thought I asked you. And what was my response? Well, you said that, uh... Wait a minute. I thought I asked you. You can't remember. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's an oversight because somewhere in my mind I thought I had asked you. All right, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So tell me, why did you quit your job? <coughs> Bless you, dear. It's okay, I'll tell you some other time. Aren't we going okay. to Chick's place anymore? Uh, no, I'll, I'll just call Chick's over the phone. I thought you said it was very important. Well, yes, it is important, but uh, it's pretty late. So I'll, I'll see him tomorrow. I'll just, um, we just have to go back home from here, really. Ah. It's fine. Okay. I'll use this. Don't do that. Hmm? Yeah, use this. Okay. Sorry, okay? <sighs> Ben, why would you have me stood up last night? Honey, please just calm down. Calm down for what? Eh? Why did you switch off your phone? I mean, where did you go to? And who are you with? Honey, please just calm down. Let me explain exactly what happened. Oh, please save your explanation to yourself. You don't have anything to tell me. In fact, I have it all figured out, Ben. Ben, so you were seeing another woman. Ben, you were cheating on me. In fact, you were we had last night, and that's why you switched off your phone. Would you stop it? You're not making any sense here. Oh! Okay, Ben. I am not making any sense, right? You know what? I have come to tell you that this relationship is over. I am done with you, and I don't ever want to see you close to me again in your life. Look, baby, good. Honey! Hey, my princess. 
And what do you want? Look, my love, I know that you're angry with me. But please, I just need you to calm down and allow me to explain exactly what happened. You know how much I treasure you, and I'll never do anything to hurt your feelings. Babe, I was very clear when I told you not to come close to me again. Go back to whoever you were with last night. Oh, come on, my queen. Don't say that, please. Look, the truth of the whole matter is that I decided to spend time with my wife because she insisted on it that that is the only way she's going to sign the divorce papers and not put up a fight at all. Honey, in a couple of days now, I'll be done with that marriage. Baby, you should know that I love you so much. All I can think of is spending the rest of my life with you forever. My love. So we've been... I mean, why was your phone so... I'm sorry. Where are you going to? I'm going home. I thought you were supposed to spend the night here with me. No, I have to go home to pray with my wife. Remember I told you that she requested that we do a two weeks of prayer and fasting. After which she will sign the divorce papers. Look, I'm only doing this so that she can sign the papers. Please just bear with me, okay? I'm sure all of this will be over very soon. Baby, I'm going to miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too, okay? I'll miss you. You too. Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry, dear. I was um, I was held up in traffic for ages. It's it was okay. really terrible. It's okay. How how was your day? Yeah, it was, it was, it was okay. By the way, um, how are the kids? They're fine, they've gone to bed. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I, I guess it's time for us to do the prayer, right? Um, yes, but I figured maybe you should just shower first and... Oh, no, 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 no. It's better we just do it now, okay? I want you to go back to bed. Okay. All right. <clears throat> This meal, it will be your favorite. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just add a bit of salt to it. Are you sure I need yes. salt now? Yeah, we do it. Okay. Yes, just. Oh, this. Put that. Okay. You're the cook. It's okay. Is that okay? It's Are you okay. sure? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, you're the madam cook, anyways. Mom, Dr. Grace is here to see you. Okay, you just tell her I'll be with her shortly. Um, babe, I need to go and see Dr. Grace. Go ahead. I'll take over from Add here. Add a bit of oil. Then. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Just remain in a couple of days, and this whole nonsense pretends to be over. <sighs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. How are you today? I'm fine. When I came in, your daughter told me you and her dad were in the kitchen cooking together. 
kiss me, what happened? All those ones are charades. Charade that will end in a month. I mean, very soon everything will soon end. So, And the divorce papers, I already gave it to him. I beg, let's not talk about the divorce papers or anything. See, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I feel weak. Tired. I just feel like very soon everything will come to an end. Anyway, it will soon be over. But is he aware yet? <sighs> no. I haven't told him. <laughs> Why? I feel like there's no need to him. I'm already his ex. I don't think so. I think you should tell him. He's your husband. He has a right to know. Doctor, he doesn't care. I promise you that. You're not ready. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm almost done, though. Okay. Um, we need to pray. We need to say a word of prayer, at least. You look. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Uh. All right. No, let's just, let's just do it. Father, we thank you for everything that you have done for us. We say may your name be praised and glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Your strength and your grace is sufficient for us. Dr. Grace, how, uh, how are you? I'm fine. You look good, man. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, do you shop around here? Yeah, once in a while, but not, not all the time. Oh, I see. Yeah. How is Madame and the kids? Uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're doing fine. Very fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, my bad. Please, who's she? Um, she's, uh, she's very fine. She's all right. She's okay. She's fine. Oh, right. But you still haven't told me who she is. Uh, she... she well, I am his fiancé, and we're getting married soon. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ben, I have to sleep now. <laughs> My regards to the madam and the Okay, kids, um, okay? say hi to your family for me. Yeah? Yes, I will. Hold on. Ben, why were you stuttering when she asked who I was? Stuttering? Oh, no, 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 I, I wasn't stuttering. I was just, um, I was caught in between uh, telling her your name and introducing you as my fiance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, sweetie. In no little time, everyone is going to know that we are together. So don't take it to heart. Let's go. It's okay, it's okay, it's nothing. The whole world is eventually going to know that she belongs to me. Welcome. Yeah, good day. Yeah. Um, um, the doctor said she saw you at the supermarket today. Oh, she told you? Yes, she did. I mean, you didn't buy anything for the kids? Uh, well, um, <clears throat> not to worry. I'll just do that tomorrow. I'll get him something special. Okay. Uh, by the way, where's Daniel? He's upstairs. So I'll set the dining while you go freshen up and you come. Are you okay? Right. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for her. All right, then, baby. All right. Rhoda, yeah. I, I saw a new pair of suits in the bedroom. Who kept it there? I did. You did? Yes. What's it for? It's your birthday gift. My birthday? But my birthday is not until next month. I know, but I might not be around. I might be traveling, so I just figured that I can just... You're traveling? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you like your gift? Yeah, I, I like them. Yes. What about the rings? I kept them there too. It's for you. Oh, wow. Really? Do you like your gift? Yeah, I, I like them. Okay, so I'll just set it down. You know what, Chooks? I was so surprised when I got home yesterday and I saw a brand new suit in the bedroom. And when I asked Rhoda about it, you know what she said? Well, what did she say? That was a birthday gift for me. She bought a gift for you. And do you know what surprised me the most? Was that I saw a pair of rings. And I know they are meant to be wedding rings. Wait a minute. You mean to say your would-be ex bought you wedding rings? That's what I just said. Really? Is she aware of your relationship with your wife? Ah, I should think so. I mean, she has never asked me about Chioma or any other woman, but... I'm pretty sure that my relationship with Chioma is no longer a secret. It's more like an open affair. Ben, your wife would like a very deep woman. Probably she's trying to pass the message to you through those gifts. Mm. But you know what I want you to do? Try and pay close attention on her to know the to know the message she's trying to pass across to you, okay? I think you're right. And you know what's most surprising? Is that her friend Dr. Grace saw Choma and I together. And she asked me who Choma was to me. You know Choma, she quickly introduced herself as my fiance. I'm pretty sure that Dr. Grace told my wife everything that happened. But do you know what she said to me? What did she say? She said Dr. Grace only said she saw me. And of course you know women. She must have told her that she saw Choma and I together, but my wife withheld that part. Probably she didn't want to get involved in your private life, since you're chasing her out of your own life. I know sometimes women can be unpredictable. If you ask me, I would say I'm shocked with the way your wife is handling this divorce issue. There's so much philosophical calmness. Mm -hmm. Believe me, if you ask me, I would say I'm shocked. With the fact that she says she doesn't want anything from you. <laughs> she even wants you to take custody of the kids. Bro. That alone blew me away. Ben, you just need to do what I asked you to do. Pay close attention. Okay?
Hello. So you mean she's going to be signing the divorce papers tomorrow? Yes, of course. Wow. I mean, this calls for a big celebration. <laughs> Don't you think so? Oh, of course, it calls for a celebration, my dear. <laughs> so are you in the office? Yeah, I'm at the office. Do you want to come over so we could go have some fun? Okay, okay. I am right on my way. All right, darling. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Shoma, can you hear me? Hello? What is her chance? How bad is her case? Her case is very, very bad. It has affected her two legs. And she may not be able to use it again for the rest of her life. Wait, wait, I, I, I really don't understand, doctor. Make me understand. Are you trying to tell me that she won't be able to use her legs again? Yes. She, may, she will not be able to use her leg again. She can't work with it again. Oh, oh my God. Doctor, just make, make this clear for me. You mean to tell me that she's going to be crippled for life? She won't most, walk again? Most probably. Oh my most God. probably. Oh my God. All right, doctor. What about the pregnancy? How's the baby? We are sorry. She lost it. Are you aware that Chioma lost her two legs? Yes, I know. And you know that Rhoda will sign the divorce papers any moment from now? So? Of course, you know that I can't continue with Chioma anymore. She's crippled. So? What do you mean by so? How do you expect me to cope with a crippled woman? I thought you said you love her. Of course I love her, but... But what? She's now an invalid. So you can't marry an invalid, is that what you're saying? Sign them. Wait.
I don't want a divorce anymore. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. sorry for all the wrong that I have done to you and I have a confession to make confession what confession well, I, I was going to get married to some other lady but honey I am truly sorry about this as, as a matter of fact I, I I'm ashamed of myself it's okay I know her, your former secretary, right? Yes. But look, baby, I truly and sincerely regret my actions, and I... It's okay. I mean, the fact that you even call me honey, that shows that we're making progress. And it makes me very happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Got you something. What? <gasps> oh my God! You bought me a car. <sighs> Honey, I bought you this car to show you my appreciation for everything. Despite the despicable manner which I have treated you for a couple of months now, you stood by me. Despite my shortcomings, you still love me. I vow and promise that I am going to love you forever until the very day that I die. Hey, baby, please don't cry. Okay? I'll never hurt you again. Please. I'm leaving. Honey, <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> You're not leaving anywhere. I'm Neither leaving. Neither am I leaving. <laughs> There's no divorce anymore. I'm dying. Maybe I'm I... dying. I don't understand what you're saying. What, what do you mean by that? I've been sick for a while now, and the doctor says that. I don't have enough time. I've been dealing with it for a while. I mean, any moment from now, I might just... I might just rest. Sweetie, stop saying that. I rebuke it. God forbids it. Would you just make me understand? What, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I have brain tumor. Malignant brain tumor. What? But why? Why are men this wicked? How could he turn his back on you now that he needed him the most? This is so terrible. Give him my everything. My body. My soul. My spirit. <laughs> How could he abandon you in this terrible condition? And he badly caused it. He said he doesn't want to divorce his wife anymore. He has gone back to her. <laughs>
my life right now. Look at me. I'm just as worthless as a piece of rock. <laughs> Tell me, what is there to live for? Babe, don't talk like that. Once there is life, there is hope. What hope? What hope? I regret ever dating Ben. I should have just listened to a man. <laughs> now I realize that dating a married man is a curse. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, right? Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry, it's okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so you need to take these drugs for the cold and cancer. Do you have any pains around your body? Well, those smarts are very careful. Most of the drugs. I know. But don't worry. Sir, you can't go in there. You can't go what is wrong with my wife? Mr. Ben, you can't just barge into my office like you, that. It is wrong. I Especially when I'm with a patient. Look, would you just cut the formality and answer my question? Is it true that my wife is going to die? Who told you that? My wife just told me that she's going to die any moment from now and that you know about it. Just tell me it's not true. No, please leave us. <laughs> Sir, um, that will be all for now. Just take your drugs and... You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. I need to take them. I don't want to yeah. die. Please have a nice day. Okay, okay. Mr. Ben, please sit. Sit. Okay. Can you please be calm? Your wife has a malignant medical condition. Just, just, just don't tell me anything about those medical jargons or whatever it is. All I need you to tell me is what do I have to do? How do we save her life? I mean, what hospital do we have to take her to? Because I don't want my wife to die. I love her so much. I am so sorry, but we're likely going to lose her. Why, why don't we take her abroad? I can afford to pay for her to go to the best hospitals there abroad. There is nothing medical science can do for her at this point in time. Her condition is not treatable at the moment. The only thing we can do is just to encourage her to live a positive life. Oh, please don't tell me! I'm sorry. I'm really Mr. Babeless, calm down! Jesus! Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, I'm calm. I'm calm. Oh my god. <laughs> Please be calm, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be fine, please. Oh, Jesus. Baby, you're crying. What is it? Huh? Honey, you're leaving me. You're leaving our children. And you're asking me why I'm crying. Oh, baby, please. I can't afford to lose you. Just stay with me, please. I beg you, please, honey, please. I only have one week to live. You can't afford to be crying. No, mommy, you will not die. Baby, I love you so much. I love you too. I love you. Oh my God. Oh. Baby, what's it? Honey, what's it? Baby, oh no, no, honey, please don't do this, please. 
Honey, please, please. Oh my God, oh my God, please. Oh God, please. I cast every spirit of sickness from my body. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree health in our body. I decree life in our body, honey. Honey, please wake up. Oh my God, Sunny. They say no one knows tomorrow. And no man is an island. Do unto me what you wish for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They say no one knows tomorrow. And no man is an island. Do unto me what you wish for yourself. The doctor wants to see you. The doctor wants to see me? Yes. How is my wife? Is she alive? Just come with me. Just talk to me, Dustin. Is she okay? What is going on? <laughs> Mr. Ben, something miraculous has just happened. What happened? Your wife has been healed completely. The tumor is gone. In fact, I've never seen this happen before. Wait, wait, wait. You mean the, the tumor has just disappeared like that? Everything. She is perfectly all right now. Honey, are you hearing that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not a joke. I'm not joking. It's not. It's oh my not. God, honey, are you okay? Oh, honey. Oh, honey, thank God. Thank God you're okay. Thank God. You're fine, you have that, you're fine now, you're okay. God is faithful. Yeah, she's fine. Yes. She's alright. Mm -hmm. Sydney, you're fine, you're okay. Come here, doctor, thank you so much. No one knows tomorrow. Thank you, baby. And no man is an island. Do unto me what you wish for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They say no one knows tomorrow. And no man is an island Do unto me what you wish for yourself Yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah If you want the world to be a better place Stop hating Yeah, yeah If you want the world to be a better place Stop anger and frustration the change begins with you The change begins with me The change begins with you The change begins with me